Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Recently I had a request from an individual asking when using the filter function and when it returns blanks, those blanks show up as zeros. How do I hide those blanks or eliminate them? So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a list of 12 individuals, their names, and bonuses. And I wanted to generate a list using the filter function of those that did not get a bonus. And if I select cell E23, you can see the formula is just equals filter E10 to G21, and if G10 to G21 is blank. And notice when it returns those that have blanks, it puts zeros instead of just blanks in the column G area. So how can we eliminate those? Well, here we have three different examples or options that you can use to do that. In this example, what I've done is wrapped the filter function in an if function. That if this filter, when it requests a blank, equals zero, then insert a blank, else just run the filter function. And as you can see, it converted all those zeros into blanks. The second option is custom formatting. I use the custom format zero, minus zero, nothing, and the at symbol. So in custom formatting, it's broken up into four groups, positive numbers, negative numbers, zero, and text. So if I select those cells, hit my keyboard shortcut control one, it'll bring up the format cells dialog box and under custom, I just type that code, zero minus zero, nothing and the at symbol. So in the third section where you define how you want zeros to be displayed, I just left it blank and therefore I got blanks instead of zeros in those cells. The last option is conditional formatting. So instead of custom formatting the cells, I use conditional formatting for these cells. So if I go to my home tab and select conditional formatting, manage rules, the rule basically says, I'm gonna select edit rules here, if Q9 equals zero, then what's my format? And what I did was I selected under color, white, or whatever color text would match the background I have. In this case, my background is white, so I chose white text. So if this is true, Q9 equals zero, then format it that way. And in this case, it uses white text, and in a white background, the zeros disappear. And that's how you can do this in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.